Hello, buzz cuts. My name is Hotsty, and welcome back to Belt Less Factory, where last time I promised you a surprise. And maybe you can guess by the place I'm standing here. We have some yellow signs. 780. That's not that much. But we have three stations. And down here we have quite a bit more, almost 8,000. That's one train load full. Same here. And we do have here four purple signs. Uh, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Two and, a half. and here five and five that's also one train load and another five and five so let's go ahead place down some trains with one wagon and have that one go to um, purple signs pick up full load then we go to purple science lab empty cargo oh no uh, empty cargo and then we go to train fueling uh, and there we wait for five seconds. Right. Good. Then we need fuel here, fuel there, and off you go. And train, wagon, train fuel then pick up yellow signs yellow signs pick up um yellow signs delivery should be one of these Ah, that one is named wrong. That will not do. That will not do. Here are the science labs. Purple science lab and this is then yellow science lab. Nice. So, second station, yellow science lab, and then we have the train fueling. Train fueling, we do for five seconds. Here we have empty cargo, here we have full cargo. That's quite easy. And off it goes and luckily into the station where we have the most yellow suns so that one should be filled up quite quickly and as we wait for the trains to fill up let's sort out our research and for that let's first enable research queue. I always forget to do that at the start of the game and with a recent update you now can do that with a command without uh, any negative effects like losing all your uh, achievements. So 
what do we want to have here first? Maybe this one and this one. Um, do we have, yes, that one and that one. We want to have those, those, and we probably need that. And that's all with purple signs. So we will go into uh, into the rest uh, soonish. And as you can see, there is not much more we need to uh, research. But the goal with this series is that we get uh, to, uh, let's say, a certain amount of uh, science per minute and uh, probably what that limit will be, uh, we will see um, at, the, at the end uh, because it's always a bit tricky usually I go for setups that have uh, one science uh, per per minute per minute per second one science per second. Uh, however, if we are looking at our current production, um, we can see we have six per minute. So that's 0.1 per second. And we want to do a bit better. That's, that's for sure. Uh, and I would even like to do a bit better than uh, one science per second. Um, maybe not uh, a space science, but the uh, but the others. Um, but for that, we need to have a sustainable base. And one thing that is somehow broken or can break easily are these fuel loading stations. And especially here where we supply the fuel. So I was thinking that we should do that differently. So Let's first move that up here, or maybe use these, and then have a line of chests going over here. And of course, I don't have enough uh, Inserters. And then we hook that up and can basically Ah no that that will not work. So let's unhook that. If we have no items in here we should go there. So then let's pick these two trains or let's rename this station from uh, fuel unloading to coal delivery one. And pick these trains and say, let's go to coal delivery one. Um, 
and have basically um, item count this one less than 10,000 then we can get rid of this one and this one uh, or in activity for uh, let's make this 60 seconds and then same on this one uh, call delivery one um, item count call one thousand this way around or in activity for 60 seconds can get rid of these two and then we can get rid of this station here and that way we should have less of uh, congestion so let me do that for all our uh, coal loading stations and then maybe maybe we can see uh, the science uh, starting up again now i realize that we already started with the purple science research but we only research at low speed because the filters on the inserters are not correctly set up so let's do that real quick so we need that there and those are all the ones we need for that then here we need to add the yellow um here we want to have yellow and purple and then here we have yellow and purple as well and yellow and purple so that means here we need a second one yellow and purple Um, up here we also add yellow and purple Do we have it on this one we have yellow on that one and then here we add purple um, purple also goes in this direction and then all we need to add here is purple and then we should see quite a few of the uh, labs being able to do research and our research speed should pick up yes it does um 
Um, maybe here we don't need purple. And we add purple on here. And we add purple and yellow there. And green. Hello and purple. All right, research is making progress. That's that's what I like to uh, to see. And here up there we are slowly chipping away on our uh, ore fields copper is going slowly but uh, for iron we are almost there to uh, be able to put the second uh, rail line through here the first one we already have and it is used um, and let's create a few more inserters. Nice. All right. And uh, once we have cover X, we can go down to our uranium mine and set up the cover X uh, refinement. Uh, enrichment. Mm. However, I think we do have uh, enough um, of the light blue uranium uh, for the moment. Um, th that should not really be a problem. But what might be a problem is that we have an overabundance of the dark green one, uh, which could potentially block uh, the way for uh, any new ones coming in. So if, it, yeah, you can see we have a light green sitting here in the chest, but they are not passed down because in the meantime even this chest is is full so probably we will have to do a bit of uh, refinement down here to reduce the number of uh, dark green and get more light green out Ooh, and uh, i need to fill this chest manually and there oh yeah there one insert is forgotten it's missing and and here one insert is pointing in the wrong direction here as well because everything is mirrored and another one missing ooh two missing and apparently we are not really using that much power we have still quite a bit of uh, steam stored on the side but yeah let's wait for that research to pass through and then we can set up the the rest here and then of course at the end we uh, also have to set up the reprocessing here um there we probably want to have uh, a bit of uh, 
what do we get out there? We need to uh, output the uh, items that we get there anyway, somewhere. All right then, let's jump into the future. All our research is done, so it's time to queue up some more. So why not do this and that? Um, might also want to have a bit of yellow science coming in. Nice, nice, nice. Um, this could be great. Um, mining productivity. And this, why not? And as you can see, uh, we have set this whole thing up and uh, the uh, reprocessing of the used fuel cells, uh, it's a bit awkward on the output side because there it goes directly into this centrifuge. That's because um, it's a bit uh, offset um, for it to work uh, work properly uh, but I think that that will do and we do not get that many used fuel cells coming through anyway I mean we have only produced 170 80 78 yeah numbers uh, but as you can see, we are in the process of uh, enriching the uh, uranium here. And the thing with the stack inserters is it does not quite, or it's probably not the fault of the stack inserters, but uh, using just inserters like this instead of... Uh, uh, um, uh, a, a thingy. I played this lot the game uh, so long I forgot that uh, we are not placing any belts. So that tends to uh, end up in the situation where if we uh, um, remove it out here, we are not fast enough to. Uh, directly move it back in so it goes around a bit because the first machine of course was this down here which started up and now uh, everything has moved up to the top two centrifuges doing the, the stuff and hopefully with this set up we have enough uh, uh, things in the loop uh, to uh, cut down on the uh, dark green uranium and here I have limited this insertion that we only add things if we have 20 of the light green uranium to spare so that we are ensure this process is running constantly before recreating any fuel cells and I think we should be good for a while with the fuel cell storage. Yeah, we do have more than 1000 on this side, more than 600 on that side, so no worries there that we will run out soon however what I noticed is that the two sides are not connected so Now 
uh, we have quite a bit more steam here in uh, one circuit network. Uh, should not make a difference, but at least it's good to have complete picture. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you with the next episode. Until then, goodbye.